Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently, Mozilla introduced a new terms of usage or a new terms of service, which I posted on, which was met with quite a lot of negative feedback and um, debate due to the privacy um, aspect or privacy concerns by loyal Firefox users. And after the backlash of the terms of usage, it seems that Mozilla now is trying to improve user data privacy, where they've recently announced, if we head over to the actual article, that they are rethinking extension data consent, clarity, consistency, and control. So basically they are saying in this article, which will be linked in the description, uh, Mozilla says it's simplifying the way its add-ons and extensions ask for consent for data collection and transmission when you install them on your browser. So I thought this was interesting and just thought I'd keep you guys posted if you are using Firefox. Now Mozilla has had this to say. They have said that in 2025, we will launch a new data consent experience for extensions built into the Firefox add-on installation flow itself that will dramatically reduce, number one, development effort required to be compliant with data policies. Number two, confusion users face when installing extensions by providing a more consistent experience, giving them more confidence and control around the data collected or transmitted. And number three, Effort it takes AMO, which is basically add-ons, mozilla.org, where you can actually um, have access to different extensions and themes and so on, as you may well know, the add-ons store, so to speak. So, as mentioned, number three, effort it takes AMO reviewers to evaluate an extension version to ensure it's compliant with our data collection policies. So basically, at the end of the day, how this is all going to work, how it will affect you as the end user at the end of the day, is Mozilla says that when a user then adds an extension to Firefox, the installation prompt will show what required types of data the extension collects, if any, alongside a list of permissions that the extension requests. Users will have a choice to opt in and or out of providing the optional technical and usage data if the add-on has requested it, as well as any optional data collection the developer requests. As always, they mention the user then has the choice to continue adding the extension if they agree to the required permissions and data collection or cancel the installation flow. They also mention that the data collection information will also be displayed on the AMO extension listing pages, as mentioned, that's the add-on store to help Firefox users make informed download decisions. And Mozilla says it's also exploring ways to let developers provide more context about the data practices if they wish. So I thought this was interesting. So it seems that at the end of the day, they're trying to simplify how extensions get consent to collect your data. So although there are still terms of usage, this at least seems to be and will be a move in the right direction in regards to your privacy when installing add-ons and extensions in the Firefox web browser. And according to Mozilla, um, more technical details will be added on that and in that post, which I'll link as mentioned in the description. And it's still basically getting a little bit more feedback before it implements the data consent for extensions. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.